Check out FlipSideGaming.com for all your gaming needs. Use the promo code HEROES to save 10% on all orders over $10. Hey there, this is John from Heroes and Legends, and welcome to the special edition of the Magic the Gathering Market Watch. This is our Picks of the Month video for December 2020, and this month's topic is 10 highly played modern cards you should have in your collection. Now, a quick note about this video series. It comes out once a month, obviously, and it does go to the gold patrons first, so by the time you see this on YouTube, it could be about 24 to 48 hours later. Some prices might have shifted a little bit, but I'm not anticipating big changes for the cards we're talking about today. Quickly, before we get into the details, though, just a fast reminder, if you go to FlipSideGaming.com, you can use the Heroes promo code to save 10% on orders over $10. Currently, you can pre-order Keldheim products there. If you want to pick up a Keldheim Collector Booster Box, for example, the promo code will bring it down to $216. And shipping is free in the United States for orders over $100 or orders that just consist of singles. Additionally, when you use the promo code, it supports the channel, which is always appreciated. So thank you. And without any further ado, let's get into it. Remember, the purpose of this video series is to look at cards that could be going up in value in the coming weeks and months. It is not about gameplay. I'm not always going to tell you the best card for each deck. And it is not about getting rich quick. Remember, there are a lot of reprints coming at us very quickly nowadays. If a card is not on the reserve list, it could get reprinted at any time. Just remember that. So we're going to take a look at our cards now in color pie order. Beginning with Cryptic Command, and as you can see, this is actually pretty reasonable right now. All across the board, the prices are relatively consistent. The original copy from Lorwyn's in 1954, the one from Modern Masters, 1725, that's the cheapest right now. The one from Modern Masters 2015, 1837. The one from Iconic Masters, $19. And the newest copy, the one from the list, is at $19 as well. Also, a quick note about the copy from the list. We just saw the update that's going to happen to the list when Keldheim comes out. And yeah, Cryptic Command will be leaving. Now, when it comes to gameplay, you're going to find this in a lot of builds in Modern, Uro, various control builds. And it does see a little Commander play too. And we know right now that Commander has been the driving force for card value increases. Speaking of force, this is Force of Negation, currently at $49.99. And this is another card you're going to find in Uro builds and much more in the Modern format. Also sees a lot of play in Legacy, Vintage, and even Commander. No surprise we're looking at a good amount of blue cards here. The third one is Remand, and you can get that original Ravnica City of Guilds copy for $4.75. The copy from Dual Decks, Jace vs. Vraska, is at $4.27. And the most recent copy from Modern Masters 2015 is at $3.77. This is a great tempo card that appears again in Euro builds, Control builds, and more in the modern format. Another card, too, that does get a little Commander play. All right, let's move on to a different color with Dismember. The new Phyrexia copy is at 230. The one from the Modern Event deck is at 253. The one from Modern Masters 2015 is up to 239 now. And the copy from Mystery Booster is at 214. You're going to find this one in Rakdos Death Shadow, Eldrazi Tron, Jund, and more in the format. Also, this is in the sideboard of a lot of big decks in Modern. For example, Amulet Titan and Tron. And beyond that, this does see play in Legacy, Vintage, and Commander as well. Next, we have a card that has seen a lot of reprints, most recently in Double Masters, but that new Double Masters printing has brought the prices down quite a bit. Let's take a look at the values of all eight of these we have on the screen here. The original copy from The Dark is the most expensive at 5105. It does make sense. It is the oldest copy, hardest to find in good condition. But once you get beyond that, the others are a lot more affordable. The one from Chronicles is at 1186, 8th edition 1297, 9th edition 1293. Modern Masters 1209, Modern Masters 2017 898, Masters 25 989. A lot of people do like the watermark on those Masters 25 cards. And finally, the cheapest copy is the newest one, and that's Double Masters at 799. Now when it comes to gameplay, this is in Mono Red Aggro, Rakdos Death Shadow, and much more. In Legacy, it's in Mono Red Prison and more there. And additionally, this can be found in some Commander decks too. Next we have Boyle, one of those weird cards that kind of sneaked into Modern being in 8th edition. You have the Tempest copy, the original one, currently at 431 The others are much cheaper, though. You can get the 6th edition for $1.75. The 7th edition copy goes for $2.94. And the 8th edition is at $2.53 right now. This is a very highly played Modern sideboard card in many different builds. This is even in some Commander decks, like Goto Bandit Warlord, for example. Now, this next card is not cheap, but I think it could get more expensive, assuming we don't see a reprint in the next year or so. 
This is Renin 6. The original copy for Modern Horizons is at $60.93. The copy from the list is at $62.99 currently. This one you'll find in Uro Omnith, Jun Builds, Teamer Uro, and more in the modern format. It is banned in Legacy, but it does see some vintage play, and it has seen increased play in Commander recently because of all the lands builds that have been floating around. Remember, Zendikar Rising as well as Commander Legends push that strategy in the format. Time to move on to artifacts with engineered explosives. That original fifth dawn copy, 1047. The other's a little cheaper though. Modern Masters 650, Ultimate Masters 466, and Double Masters 340. This is another highly played sideboard card that shows up in a lot of modern builds. Also, occasionally you'll find this in a legacy sideboard, and it can see a tad bit of commander play too. Mishra's Bauble, one of the more expensive uncommons that you can find, although the Double Masters printing has helped quite a bit. That cold snap copies at 847. Again, the others though are cheaper. Iconic Masters 374, the copy from Mystery Booster 352, and Double Masters 249 currently. This one's in Death Shadow builds. Also Colossus Hammer, which is getting hot right now in Magic the Gathering Online. It's been performing well there and other decks in the format. Legacy, this is in Karn Echoes. And this also sees a fair amount of commander play, many times in artifact centric builds. All right, our last card for the day is Walking Ballista. That original Ether Revolt copy is at 1033. The Double Masters copy is at $10. Not only was this just reprinted in Double Masters, not to mention there was a foil copy recently in a secret layer, but this also got banned in Pioneer. Put it all together, and this card has lost a lot of value recently, but it has stabilized. And again, assuming there's no reprints anytime soon, I do think you're going to start seeing this climb again. This is in Heliod Company, a very popular deck. It's in Tron Builds and more in Modern. In Legacy, Mono Green Cloud Post, Death and Taxes, Karn Echoes, and more there. Vintage, you'll find this in Ravager Shops, and this also sees a lot of Commander play. All right, that does it for this month's Picks of the Month video. I hope you found this helpful and gave you some ideas if you want to play Modern sometime down the road. Until next time, though, hey, thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe, and have a great day. Hey, thanks for watching. This video is made possible through the generous support of viewers like you on Patreon. Check out the description below for links to our Patreon page as well as our Amazon affiliate store where a small percentage of all sales will also help support the channel. Finally, if you haven't had a chance yet to subscribe, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the new videos on Heroes and Legends. Talk to you again soon and have a great day.